Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is transforming a liberal arts school into a conservative institution. He recently appointed six new board members at New College of Florida. It's a school described as, quote, a community of free thinkers, risk takers, and trailblazers. The new board is seeking to reshape the school into one similar to a Michigan institution that's prominent among conservatives. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer is live in Miami. So, Brooke, this move is drawing support but it's also drawing criticism. Yeah, and to break this all down for you, Nicole, we reached out to Governor DeSantis's office today. They told me that low admission numbers is part of the reason for this shakeup. Instead of New College reaching a goal of about 1,200 students, the college in Sarasota, Florida has about half that number. But I spoke to one of those students today. She told me she fears that her school is a vulnerable target for a culture war. Tonight, the fight continues over the future of this public college in Florida. Welcome to this tour of New College of Florida. New College of Florida in Sarasota is a public state liberal arts college. It's intended to be an honors college that attracts the best students from in and out of state. Right now, it's home to about 660 students. On its website, New College says it, quote, values equity and is actively working toward eliminating outcome disparities for underrepresented and underserved groups. But Governor Ron DeSantis's office told News Nation that line is one of the reasons for a recent shakeup at the tiny college. And we must ensure that our institutions of higher learning are focused on academic excellence and the pursuit of truth, not the imposition of trendy ideologies. Earlier this month, Governor DeSantis appointed six new members to the college's board of trustees, including Christopher Rufo, who DeSantis's office said has, quote, led the fight against critical race theory in American institutions in a publication last week on a plan to transform new College of Florida. Rufo wrote, quote, conservatives have the opportunity finally to demonstrate an effective countermeasure, adding a, quote, new era for higher education is possible. DeSantis's office argues New College of Florida has been, quote, captured by political ideology that puts trendy truth relative concepts above learning. In a tweet, DeSantis's chief of staff is quoted to say, it's our hope that New College of Florida will become more along the lines of a Hillsdale of the South. Hillsdale College in Michigan is an independent Christian university. We didn't come to New College because we wanted to go to, you know, conservative Christian school. We would have gone somewhere else. We didn't want this and we didn't ask for this. Sam Scharf studies international politics and sociology at New College. She's part of the group fighting against changes to her school's culture, she said. Changes she fears come with national implications. We think this is a fight for educational freedom at all institutions, especially public institutions. In a statement to News Nation, Governor DeSantis's press secretary wrote in part, quote, the new trustees at New College of Florida are committed to refocusing the institution on academics and truth. The statement went on to say that the campus will become a place for learning and discourse as it was designed to be. But I followed up with some questions about that Hillsdale of the South comment. I asked, you know, what that will mean for New College of Florida. I also asked about some concerns about taxpayer funding for New College of Florida if it does, in fact, start to look like a Hillsdale, which is an independent Christian college. I didn't hear back at this point yet. Nicole? All right, yeah, digging for answers there. Okay, Brooke, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.